Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Wednesday, November 14, 2023. Curtis and Marshall talk about meditation today on General Hospital, Austin continues under Cyrus' control, and Maxie and Lucy make a big announcement about the new face of deception. Haven greets Maxie, Scott, and Lucy as they arrive at the home and heart set. Haven inquires about the company's troubles. Lucy reassures her that everything is great, and she reminds her that she is the one who contacted, pleading with them to do a shoot for the deceptor. They've also brought their lawyer to make sure she's not up to her old tricks. Scott warns Haven not to pull any tricks this time or he'll file a lawsuit. Haven claims she understands and cannot be held responsible for the poor actions of her former producer, who was fired. Lucy requests that Maxie inform Sasha that they are ready for her. Maxie checks her phone and informs Lucy that there has been a tiny hiccup, but she is handling it well. Sasha arrives soon after and reminds Hayden that she will remain professional for as long as Hayden can, but if he does not, she will leave the set. In the meantime, Maxie calls someone and yells at them for not responding to her SMS. She instructs the individual to pay attention to and follow her directions. Cody arrives soon after and inquires about the emergency. She brings him to the stage and informs Hayden that Sasha will be introducing the Deceptor alongside Cody Bell, the new male face of deception. What, say Haven and Sasha. Haven chuckles and responds, absolutely not, referring to his threat to streak on her show. Maxie reminds Haven that the Deceptor is her show's bestseller, therefore she will market it the way she and Lucy want. Sasha opens the program by telling the audience that the Deceptor is so popular that guys are screaming for it, and she shows it to Cody. Sasha comments him on how clean his skin appears after using it. Lucy informs Maxie that Sasha and Cody are brilliant together and will make a fortune. Lucy speaks with Haven after the show about the Deceptor selling out in record time. Haven confesses that the public adored Sasha and Cody and can't wait for them to return, Meanwhile, Maxie tells Sasha how natural her relationship with Cody was. Cody is around the corner when he hears Sasha tell Maxie that she can no longer work with Cody. Maxie wonders, why not? Isn't it obvious I have feelings for Cody, responds Sasha. Diane and Alexis meet at Metro Court to discuss their recent events. Molly and Pristina are reuniting across the street, and seeing them together brightens Alexis' day, Diane inquires as to how this occurred, and Alexis believes it is because Andrea is nearing the end of her first trimester. Diane wins a game of rock, paper, scissors to see who confesses first. Diane mentions Robert and how, every time things appear to be going well, something from his history throws a wrench in the works. Diane reveals that it's not holy this time, but Anna and the incident with Charlotte. She sympathizes and understands Anna, but Alexis recognizes that Robert's attention is once again drawn to an ex. Diane acknowledges that if Robert wasn't so faithful and uncompromising to people he loves, she wouldn't find him so appealing. Alexis inquires as to how she intends to address this. Diane plans to be understanding, and she understands that Holly and Anna are no longer in her life, and that Robert has made her a priority. What is happening with Anna is a detour on the route of love, according to her. After dinner, Robert calls Diane. Alexis departs from her to return to work. Molly has been taking notes on the contracts for Christina's center at their table. Molly shifts the subject, revealing that she may quit the DA's office for a less demanding career in order to devote more time to the baby. Christina had never expected to hear her sister say that. Molly claims she will not ignore TJ and the kid for the sake of her profession. However, the baby won't arrive for several months, and she has a motion due by Friday. They make their way outside. Alexis notices the waitress with Molly's tablet at her and Christina's empty table as she walks away. She says that it belongs to her daughter, that she must have forgotten about it, and that she will return it to her. Austin and Cyrus meet in the hospital stairwell, and Cyrus tells Austin that he delivers him good news. 
Mason is negotiating a plea deal and will say he was acting alone in Ava's kidnapping, according to Cyrus. Cyrus says that he will most likely be sentenced to five years in prison, and Mason promises not to name Cyrus or Austin. Austin thanks him for the information and turns to go, but Cyrus explains they aren't finished yet. Cyrus reminds him that he paid for his medical school and residency, that he invested in him, and that he expects a return on his investment. Austin remembers giving him favors for years and reminds him that Cyrus told him he was free after he lied for him at his parole hearing. Cyrus claims he is free to live his life as he pleases, unless he is called upon in the future. Austin believes he is now a man of God and challenges him to uphold his end of the bargain. Austin is perplexed as to what Cyrus expects of him. Cyrus believes that life is full of surprises and that one never knows when they will require the services of a doctor. Austin attempts to repay him, but Cyrus exclaims that he doesn't want his money, but rather his gratitude and loyalty. If he can't provide those, he'll leave him alone to deal with Mason. He claims that it is only his intervention that has kept Mason from revealing Austin as the mastermind behind Ava's kidnapping and any other crimes, such as Gordon Stevens' killing last summer. Austin agrees to do everything Cyrus asks. Cyrus thanks him for his generosity and departs. Andrea arrives to speak with TJ and asks if they can go somewhere private. He notices she's agitated as they walk to an exam room. She claims she miscarried the baby. She describes waking up with discomfort and severe bleeding yesterday night. She went to the hospital, and Mercy verified that she had miscarried. TJ encourages her to focus on recuperating and that they'll consult with her OBGYN and wait before trying again. Andrea apologizes, but she cannot go through this again. TJ visits Portia and informs her of Andrea's miscarriage. He claims Andrea is unable to face Molly and that it is now his responsibility to inform her that the baby has died. Portia tells him that Molly needs to hear this from him, and she cautions him not to allow this loss divide him from Molly. When Marshall returns home, he discovers Curtis meditating. Curtis explains that he is attempting something novel. Marshall inquires if it is operational. Curtis said he's attempting to calm his mind, and appears to be helping him focus at times. Marshall compares it to how he feels when playing his clarinet. Marshall also admits to meditating for several years. Marshall explains that a friend musician told him about it and that he believed it would keep him grounded and focused. He claims that so much of life is clutter and that meditation allows you to be present in the moment. Curtis inquires whether he ever received an answer while meditating. Marshall recalls seeing a vision of himself and Tommy as children playing in the park, which drew him back to Port Charles. Portia returns home later and kisses Curtis. He tells her about his day. He claims he had an illuminating chat about meditation with his father. He notices that something is awry. She shares that she received horrible news. And it's times like these that make you appreciate the beautiful things in your life. She considers herself fortunate to have their kid and the opportunity to spend every day with her. When TJ calls, Molly is at work. Molly admits that she may have to stay late tonight and chuckles that she won't be able to do so once the kid arrives. TJ explains why they must communicate. He invites her to meet him at his residence. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.